have finally started to make the turn back to the North Island again. We've gone as far south as we will on this trip and we are now heading to the Mount Aspiring National Park. We're going to try to rally up and down some roads. Maybe tomorrow morning we're going to look at the Blue Pools which are just outside of Wanaka. Definitely a different look than what we've been seeing so far but we are excited to be heading north from this point on. So we've been on the road to Mount Aspiring for probably the last like hour, so it is gorgeous. This is just up from Wanaka, so it turns into a dirt road. River cautions are really low at the moment. We know on uh, different days they are really high, so be careful if you come here. So we're just kind of like exploring around. For us, this is just kind of experiencing New Zealand. There's not a huge amount for us to shoot because the light is so harsh. This is what traveling is about, it's just seeing as much as New Zealand as we can. So it's currently just golden out and we had a lot of fun earlier going up the Mount Aspiring Road. Not a huge amount of shoot, but it's just so awesome. Like you, I think you have to do it. It's also, there's no one there as well. Not, I don't think a lot of people really uh, go up there because there's a couple of crossings, which we said earlier, you have to be kind of careful of in the high rain, but incredible. So at the moment we're in actually Wanaka again. So this is our stopover zone to the north. Um, this is one of the final days we think there's gonna be sunshine in the South Island as it's just looking like torrential rain for the next few days. So we're just coming out chilling and just found this beach with no one around for sunset. So it is a little after sunrise and Alex and I are hiking out to the blue pools right now. This place is Narnia. There's no other way to explain it. There's ferns that are bigger than cows. The trees are absolutely massive and like leaning over the pathway. I don't think it's too far of a trek to the actual pools themselves. We have a little bit of scattered cloud and sunlight, so should be perfect conditions to get out there and explore today. The blue pool was absolutely stunning, we absolutely loved it. It's a very hard location to shoot because I like to get high above the bridge and um, bring out the blues, which a lot of the bridge filled the uh, composition, which is, makes it really hard to capture what a stunning place it is. But I think I still got some really nice stuff. So welcome to the west coast of New Zealand. It is terrible weather, which is such a shame because it is so beautiful. I've seen some fantastic work around here. So for the moment, we're just cruising up the coast and we might stop at a late tonight, but to be honest, it is so cloudy and it's just so gray. We're not gonna be hanging around the west coast very long. Uh, we're heading straight up to uh, Picton and then Wellington as the weather for the next few days is just solid rain. Hopefully we can shoot a couple mood shots up the coast and see what's going on, but it seems to be getting pretty stormy soon.
So we're on the west coast, as you know, and a tree has fallen in the road where we're meant to be going. There's only one road up to the north here. So this is the only option. Like for us, we're fine. We can go off road, we can go off the side. The other way is like, honestly, you have to go around back where Queenstown. We've been driving for three hours. You would have to do all that and then go around Mount Cook. So this is the only route. I'll burn that tree down. Yeah. Ryan's gonna go barehandedly move that tree. Alright, so we are in Franz Josef doing just a short hike up to the glacier. Um, we ran into some wonderful friends yesterday and uh, we want to introduce you to them. So we decided to qu take a quick stroll up this lane. We'll find some place nice where they can explain what they're interested in and their mission and maybe we'll show you a little bit of their work. Alright, kia ora. my name is Jeff Reed. And I'm Katie Goldie. And uh, we're both photographers. I'm an environmentalist, really passionate about the environment. So I love photography as a way to share beautiful things and reconnect. And I'm just a traveling photographer working, you know, in New Zealand right now. Hi, I'm Katie and I like showing people how to get out into the outdoors and how to film in the outdoors or take photos in the outdoors. Currently in New Zealand right now, it's like my second favorite place to be other than home in Canada. My favorite type of photography is landscape photography. I love showing the most beautiful landscapes in the world, finding the most beautiful places in the most epic light is kind of my passion and I'm passionate about um, getting people to be more responsible about environmental issues. My favorite photo, oh, that's a tough one because I have a lot of really favorite ones. I usually enjoy the ones that bring me back to the most like beautiful memories that I have. Just being on the root burn, I have a really beautiful photo of me and uh, Jeff and I just uh, went up to the root burn last year when we first met and um, yeah it was just the most perfect conditions and it was just meant to be for my favorite photo. My name is Jeff Reed, and I hope you've been enjoying these guys' series on New Zealand. Beautiful place. I really do love my country, and I also love photography. It's a way of showing people what's precious about our natural world. You know, it's a way of reconnecting people, and it's also a way for me to express my passion and just how delicate our natural world is, yeah, how precious it is, how important it is that we protect it. All right, so some of the environmental work that I'm involved with is campaigning for clean water. It's really important that we have clean water, and at the moment, it's nearly up to 70% of New Zealand's rivers are becoming unswimmable. So it's due to dairy farming, animal agriculture, also bad infrastructure in towns and cities. So it's something I'm really passionate about. We all deserve clean water. Um, also looking after this, our bush, the environment here, making sure to keep all of the animals, birds, geckos in the forest so that you know the forest is healthy and functional. New Zealand's an island, precious ecosystem. Didn't have any mammals before um, humans came here apart from bats. So yeah, we have a lot of things on our plate that we're trying to work through and control and make sure that this forest ecosystem around New Zealand doesn't collapse. Uh, my favorite photography is probably wildlife. Yeah, I really love seeing animals captured in their true essence, but I really love adventure photography, seeing people getting out there, true adventure, you know, really pushing their body, pushing their gear, getting out, testing the limits. It's pretty inspiring. All right, so one of my favorite photos was a great big panorama stitch that I took of Mount Robson in the Canadian Rockies, highest peak. Uh, it was pretty cold, beautiful, the sun lit up, there was a bit of moonshine. Yeah, it's pretty hard to explain how epic it was, that listening to the glacier crack away, just myself on top of the mountain. It's kind of the moments that you live for, the unexpected moments. So Alex had been dead set on finding the most overgrown, lush, tropical, Oregon-esque side roads that we could find, and honestly, we rounded this corner, he was talking about it, and there was one directly in front of us. I've never seen ferns quite this size. Uh, the Northwest, we're blessed with a bunch of different foliage, but the diversity on this like half kilometer road was stunning. Um, 
Because the light was fading fast, the headlights were overpowering my camera when it was head on. So I just took a couple steps to the left and shot over the top of the ferns. I believe the aperture was at 2.8, so I allowed enough light to get in um, for a quick shutter, but it also created a unique depth of field where I was looking past the foliage and more onto my subject, which at the time was the Defender. Mm -hmm. 